According to P.P. Barnum, literature is the most interesting and most significant expressions of humanity. Good day, I am Sid Arias and today I am going to talk about the different literary genres but I will only dig deeper to short stories of the Philippine literature. If you can still recall, uh, we can define literature as the collected oral and written works of a society that depicts the people's beliefs, values, mores, and aspirations and as well as their struggles in life. So here are the five different literary genres, the novel, the short story, the play or drama, essay, and of course, the poetry. So, what is really the short story of the Philippine literature? Philippine short stories have always been the country's most popular and well-liked literary genre. They discuss a wide array of themes, which varies from political to nationalist to present-day social issues. Prior to the country's colonization, Filipinos already have their own short stories through their myths, legends, fables, and folk tales. So we have here Edgar Allan Poe, who is the father of the short story. He was an American poet, fictionist, and a literary critic of the Romantic period. So we have here the most famous Filipino short story writers who carved history and who are also awarded as the National Artist of Literature. So. First, we have here Nick Joaquin. He was a Filipino writer, historian, and a journalist. He is best known for his short stories and novels in the English language. He was conferred the rank and title of National Artist of the Philippines for the Literature in 1976. So, his most famous work is the short story which is entitled The Summer Solstice which is actually my favorite because I really fell in love with the plot and the story itself. So next we have here Jose Garcia Villa. He was a Filipino poet, critic, short story writer, and a painter. He was awarded the National Artist of the Philippines for Literature in the year 1973. And his most famous books were The Footnote to Youth and The Anchored Angel. Next, we have here Edith Tiempo. She was a poet, a fictionist, and she is also a teacher and a literary critic. Her works were characterized by a remarkable fusion of style and subtones, of craftsmanship and insight. She was conferred the National Artist Award for Literature in the year 1999. So, her most famous uh, short stories were The Block Monkey and The Coral. And I also included here Bonsai because this is really the best uh, poem that I read before. Next, we have here Francisco Chanel Jose. He is widely known as F. Chanel Jose for he is the most widely read Filipino writers in the English language. His novels and short stories depict the social underpinnings of class struggles of uh, colonialism in Filipino society. He became a national artist for, for Philippine literature in the year 2001. So his most famous novel was entitled Sherds and these two are his most famous short stories. Next we have here Amado V. Hernandez. He was a Filipino writer and labor leader who was known for his criticism of social injustices uh, in the Philippines and was later imprisoned for his involvement in the communist movement. He was the first to receive the title in literature in the year 1973. So his most famous short stories were entitled Kulang sa Bilig, Wala ng Lunas, and The Langaw sa Isang Basong Gatas. Next, we have here Francisco Arcelliana. He was a writer, a poet, a, an essayist, critic, journalist, and of course, he was a teacher. He became a national artist in literature in year 1990 and his most famous short story was entitled The Match. And next we have here Nestor Vicente Madali Gonzalez. He is widely known as NBM Gonzalez. He was a Filipino novelist, short story writer, essayist, and a poet. He was conferred as the National Artist of the Philippines for Literature in the year 1997. And his most famous short stories were Tomato Game and Children of the Ash Covered Loam. So now I encourage you all to read the short stories, novels, and uh, books that I just mentioned earlier because I believe and I am really confident that you and your imagination will go beyond the universe because these works were made from the heart, from their uh, 
sad moments, happy moments, killing moments, and of course, the social injustices that they experienced before. So what are you waiting for? Go visit uh, Google and if you happen to share this to your social media sites, please do mention me on Instagram at Sidirella and on Facebook at Sid Romarati Arias. And share this also to your friends, classmates, and family members. Thank you and enjoy reading. Bye!